harness backstage plugins that helps you to integrate harness modules with backstage developer platform now let's look into what's backstage backstage is an open sourced open platform for building developer portals created at spotify and donated to cncf it helps you to unify all your infrastructure tooling services and documentation to create a streamlined development environment from end to end so in this harness backstage plugin the core is the harness pipelines so pipelines define your release process using multiple workflows and approvals in sequential and parallel stages pipeline can involve multiple services environments and workflows so harness uses various modules like continuous integration continuous delivery continuous verification ccm feature flags and many more to empower developers with the software development life cycle all in one place as a pipeline now let's look into how you could uh, sign up into the free subscription plan of harness uh, and get started with a simple ci pipeline now let's go and sign up uh, so while i sign up uh, i want to provide information that you have multiple third party uh, integrations here like uh, github bitbucket gitlab linkedin uh, with which you could directly sign up or without using your email but here i will be using my uh, personal email id and uh, will be signing up using it so let's uh, go ahead and sign up uh, yeah so it says already signed in in our gmail let's check yeah it's here now let's uh, go and verify it yeah once you are verified you will be uh, redirected into the platform page and here uh, it will give us an option to select from the various modules that harness offers uh, like continuous delivery continuous integration feature flag and cloud cost management we will go with continuous integration here and uh, yeah and we'll build a simple get started pipeline uh, which is a very basic uh, pipeline to realize the capabilities of harness ci so here you could see uh, harness has already created a default project for us and uh, under that project uh, we will be uh, creating our first pipeline so yeah it asks you to integrate your uh, repository uh, through OAuth or access token uh, that will be required to clone uh, the code base uh, yeah, we give the OAuth uh, authentication and it takes usually a few seconds and yeah, now it will uh, give you a list of repositories uh, available under uh, your uh, profile and also all the repositories uh, in different organization that you have access to uh, in your source code management tool. So you could see there is a list of uh, um, repositories that I have in my uh, account and also the org uh, repositories that I have access to are listed below. Now I will uh, go and search for a uh, sample pipeline uh, which I would use for this demo. It's a go sample pipeline, but uh, yeah, uh, let's start so i will be going with the starter pipeline and not with a uh, starter configuration pipeline so the starter pipeline is very simple it just uh, adds a run step and gives you infrastructure predefined so let's look into what's the predefined infrastructure here and uh, the predefined infrastructure is uh, basically the harness hosted cloud builds which runs on linux operating system and uh, the architecture at amd64 and we have just added a basic uh, run step here so it it comes as predefined and we could start running here uh, yeah everything is predefined starting from git branch and uh, yeah so yeah it takes usually few seconds for uh, this kind of pipeline to run uh, the majority of the time is taken to clone the code base and it will just run the final step so it has verified our uh, credentials in the initialized step and uh, it's cloning uh, it takes a few time yeah so it's done uh, now it will run the step uh, that we have asked it to yeah so all the three steps are successful yeah you could see the tag of success here and welcome to our ci message so this is how uh, you build a starter uh, pipeline in harness ci uh, so you could see our pipeline uh, here and the recent execution uh, is green uh, which is uh, the recent execution we did and it's a success look into uh, the backstage plugins so the backstage plugins are uh, open sourced and it is uh, in a github repository while i'm recording this video it is private but it will be uh, public while you are looking into this uh, video tutorial so uh, 
this this has a extensive readme where you could uh, uh, read information about uh, what is available in this uh, plugin and what is upcoming so let's go into the plugins and inside plugins uh, you see you have harness ci cd and there is another readme uh, to help you install this plugin in your uh, already existent uh, backstage app so uh, let's go to the root of our backstage app i have already opened it in my ide and let's uh, add what has been given to add here let's copy it and then let's go and paste yeah let's see let's wait for the result it takes a few uh, minutes and one is complete let's move to the step two and yeah in step two uh, it says like uh, this is for uh, you know testing purposes it says like you could clone this repository and try out the plugin it contains an example backstage app but since we are using uh, my own backstage app uh, and install the harness plugins we have to do some of the changes uh, to the files so it says in appconfig.yaml uh, we have to add this thing under the proxy so i have already open the place where you need to add it in my ide and i just need to copy and paste it so yeah it's done but uh now we need uh the api key keys uh, for harness platform is available at your profile your profile uh go to your profile clicking on the bottom left corner of the page and then uh here you have an option to add api key and add the api key you could name it as let's say demo save it and let's add a token our token is let's say test backstage and let's generate the token so once the token is generated uh it needs to be updated here uh and let's say yep uh now it's updated now let's go and check what all changes we need to do more uh, so there is another change in entity page dot tsx where what we need to do and let's go to that page let's close the terminal for good view and yeah now we need to import these two things let's import it yeah it's done but it will show an error because we are not using it and then let's copy paste the harness cd content to be placed inside the CACD content. So I think it's cool. Let's save it. In the catalog that we catalog info or uh, file, uh, we need to. This is my catalog info file, and here we need to give the project url so how do i get my project url i go to the builds i go to my pipeline this is the pipeline that we are using and until this project url goes like this it's an account account id org org id project project id so till here we need uh the uh, url for uh this let's copy and go and paste it I will delete this and paste it. Okay, it's done. Let's commit the changes. We have added the changes. Also, you have uh, an, a README documentation here uh, where uh, you know a detailed uh, analysis is given on how to get this configurations and this URLs from Harness. Run yarn dot dev. Yeah. Backstage is now opening up. Let's see. Yep, it's there. Now let's go and register our component. So the component uh, URL is here uh, in my. It's a public repo if you want to uh, use and test it, but you have to change this URL. Uh, let's copy paste it. Let's import it. So you see it's imported 
canary backend survey uh, you get the execution history of your pipeline be it uh, ci or cd you could see i have uh, run this pipeline build for uh, uh, pipeline sample uh, three minutes ago and it's uh, the pipeline status shows success so in the details uh, there is no information here because it is a starter pipeline we don't have any services deployed or any environment uh, that is present you could see for my complex cd pipelines they have uh, details present here now let's go and try to run this pipeline from the backstage itself. Let's go and take this. It says it starts running the pipeline. This is how you use uh, this uh, harness uh, backstage plugin to get a holistic view of all the pipelines that you are running, the execution history, uh, the timeline and everything. Uh, for more information go through the readme that we have provided and you know join our harness community slack channel for uh, further more questions. Thank you.